Hello dear LELP visitors and welcome back to my YouTube channel and Upper Road channel. In this session I'm going to teach you lesson 9 of uh, 504 Absolutely Essential Parts. So uh, <coughs> I should inform you that uh, I have uh, created flashcards for all of the 12 words, principal words here in this unit so you're going to see a lot of amazing flashcards the first word is uh, vicinity as you can see means nearness and let me see uh, vicinity 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 they are repeated century a period of time that equals 100 years and this is rage i have selected the photo of angry bird which is an icon or symbol of uh, anger this is violence and uh, this is rage again rage again document means evidence and i will be back just explaining more about them this is conclude that means to actually come to a conclusion and to end to deduce and make a decision to decide this is undeniable means you cannot deny it again undeniable again undeniable and this is resist means to show opposition resist the noun is resistance and this is lack emptiness and ignore disregard pay no attention to uh, challenge to fight against somebody something or to show your opposition and this is um, miniature and something in a um, small scale miniature and uh, this is source means the origin you see there are so many flashcards the origin of something and this is essential okay so let me just go to the details okay vicinity as i said means a uh, region near a place or quarter or district a neighborhood living in the vicinity of new york jeremy was near many uh, museums because there are so many museums in new york the torrent of rain fell only in our vicinity it means that it was uh, let's say localized to our neighborhood torrent of rain it means a um, showering rain or uh, heavy rain we approached the Baltimore vicinity by car approach means to get close to draw near to draw near so we just uh, got closer to the location of Baltimore uh, by car number two century very easy word a period of time equaling 100 years remember if it is 10 years it is decade and if it is 1000 years it is millennium millennium we are in the third millennium okay George Washington uh, lived in the 18th century, the first president of the United States, whose photo you can see on the paper uh, bills, I mean, uh, actually the paper money. Okay. Uh, the United States is two centuries old, so it is not that old that doesn't have a very lasting or let's say long heritage many prominent men have been born in this century 
prominent means famous, well known, and influential. For example, uh, Einstein. But Einstein actually was born, uh, or he lived in the twenty twentieth century. But we are now in the twenty first century. Rage means anger, violence, or violent anger. Something that arouses interest, but uh, brief enthusiasm. Okay, arouse means stimulate. Sentence A, John's bad manners sent her mother into a rage. So he was not on his behavior. He was not, for example, uh, polite or courteous and therefore her mother just uh, went uh, let's say say go banana went so she went banana it means she became angry she was enraged pay attention to this structure the noun is in I'm sorry the verbiage is enraged in rage uh, it means to make somebody angry in a fit of rage francine uh, broke the valuable glass in a sudden emotional uh, or sudden emotional feeling it could be for example jealousy you know in a fit of rage because uh, he was actually francine uh, I, I don't know he or she uh, was angry so he actually broke the valuable or precious glass the mayor felt a sense of rage about the exaggerations in the press in the press so uh, he became uh, furious even you can say about the exaggeration or magnification to um, actually make something appear more important than it is in the press for document document is used both as a verb and a noun pay attention something handwritten or printed that gives information or proof of some fact you can say evidence proof particularly in order to prove something to corroborate something sentence a Newly discovered documents showed that the prisoner was obviously innocent. So you can say to ac ac acute a person. It means uh, to show that he or she is not guilty. Exonerate. Okay. Uh, so the pris the prisoner was certainly innocent, means not guilty. The documents of ancient Rome have survived many centuries. That's why we have access to them right now, because they have survived. We were reluctant to destroy important documents. We were unwilling. We did not like to destroy important or essential documents. Five. Conclude means end, finish, or decide. A very simple word. M most people are happy when they conclude their work for the day. That is correct because you know when you do your duty, then you will become happy, and there is a very close relationship psychologically between doing your tasks having enough self-discipline to do whatever it takes and to become really happy okay to conclude here means to end to finish to complete the gloomy day concluded with a thunderstorm gloomy means dark dismal cloudy for example covered uh, means dark, dismal, covered, cloudy day ended with a thunderstorm, lightning. 
a kind of storm with lightning. Work on the building could not be concluded until the contract was signed. So uh, it did not came it did not come to an end. It did not it did not come to an come to a, uh, let's say close until we signed the contract. So it is you know, important to just consolidate it to solidify actually the task or mission or contract. Six. Undeniable means inevitable. Let me write inevitable. This, it means you cannot deny this. Unquestionable. Not to be denied. Cannot be questioned. Unquestionable. The jury concluded that the teenagers were undeniably guilty. Jury are those uh, people, 12 people in the court of law that help the judge uh, to make um, a sound decision. Concluded that, it means actually they decided that the teenagers were certainly guilty, not innocent. B. It is undeniable that most professionals can beat any amateur. It is clear that professionals with great skills can beat or defeat can become victorious over any amateur means unprofessional it's clear because they have been uh, working on actually developing some tasks okay they are Leon resented Rita's good marks in school was Undeniable. My intonation was not good. Let me read it one more time. That Leon resented Rita's good marks in school was undeniable. Pay attention. The whole this whole part is the subject of the sentence, so it is a noun phrase uh, functioning as the subject. So it could be, let's say, substituted for it. So you can say it was undeniable. What was undeniable? That Leon resented Rita's good marks uh, in a school. So Leon hated or resented Rita's good marks. So he was jealous of her and her good marks. It was uh, evident. It was it was clear. Okay, seven. Resist means act against, strive against. Strive means try and oppose to show opposition. Or objection. Toti could not resist eating the chocolate sundae. Uh, so it was that sundae. Sundae is a kind of <coughs> dessert. Dessert, um, you know, with chocolate and ice cream. And it's so tempting. You can say it's tempting. So Toti could not resist. Could not just uh, stop eating that, the chocolate, it was tempting. Uh, tight security measures resisted Jimmy's entrance into the bank because there were so many, for example, bodyguards and police officers in the bank and uh, uh, measures here means actions. Res uh, resisted, it means actually blocked Jimmy's entrance into the bank. Harold resisted the opportunity to poke fun at the weird man. So Harold must be a very strong person with, uh, let's say, strong willpower. Resisted the opportunity or the chance to poke fun at, to make fun of, to tease, to just uh, ridicule the weird or strange man. So it's not polite to ridicule a person. Lack means be entirely without something, have not enough. It's clear, emptiness. Your daily diet should not lack fruits and vegetables. You should just feed on them adequately, sufficiently, because they're good for you, for your health. Uh, his problem was that he lacked a variety of talents. So 
the basic problem was that he did not have he did not possess uh, various skills or gifts or talents natural abilities as an amateur dancer uh, Vincent knew that he lacked the professional touch not professional dancer Vincent knew that he lacked he didn't have professional touch for touch here you can say style knack n a a a i'm sorry k n a c k k is not pronounced knack or skill style even move or movement because when you dance you need to make some movements in a rhythmic and balanced way as you know okay uh, nine ignore the noun form is ignorance the adjective form is ignorant pay no attention to disregard disregard okay little Alice realized that if she didn't behave her parents would ignore her so Alice little girl uh, identified or noticed that if she didn't behave particularly correctly if she was not well behaved uh, her parents would disregard her paid no attention to <laughs> okay B the student could not answer the question because he ignored the obvious facts yeah in order to un understand the question first uh, solve a question sorry to, to solve a question first you should understand it first you should pay enough attention to the details and particularly in um, math problems okay older brothers and sisters uh, often feel ignored when their parents only spend time with a new baby uh well i don't have any idea about that because i don't have any child and also i was the last issue of my family you know i was the uh, youngest child and but it is terrible i can uh, imagine so parents should pay attention to the fact that if they just pay special attention to the last child or last issue of the family the older ones would become jealous and it's not good okay 10 challenge call to a fight Aaron it's clear Aaron Burr challenged Alexander uh, Hamilton to a duel no they just uh, start shooting each other and the first who shoots <laughs> is the winner and the last actually usually gets killed terrible so barbaric okay number sentence b no one bothered to challenge the prominent lawyer because he was prominent he was famous he was professional and somehow unquestionable or invincible c trying to become a doctor was quite a challenge dick discovered yeah it's not uh, an easy task to become a doctor particularly medical doctor or physician and dick just understood that 11 miniature represent represented on a small scale yeah for example uh, a doll house is a house in miniature the young boy wanted wanted a miniature sports car for his birthday just a very tiny sports car for his birthday present as his birth as his birthday present instead of buying a massive dog uh, teddy got a miniature poodle uh, poodle is a sh uh, small not short smart dog or let's say puppy or with uh, curly 
uh, legs and their short and curly hair and legs okay it's not massive uh, we were seeking a miniature model of the bulky chess set so we were seeking or following we were just searching for searching a short a, a small a small model of the huge chess set chess as you know is a game on which there are some pieces for example b shop and uh, so on and so forth king minister okay and the last word is source means place from which something comes or originate or is obtained it's clear uh, the college students knew that he needed more than a basic textbook as a source for his report so in order to just uh, do report or make some report actually he needed more various sources not just one textbook it was not sufficient the source of body's trouble was boredom so he was bored he was unexcited and that was the basic problem and the last sentence professional I'm uh, sorry professor Smith's speech was a valid source of information on chemistry so he was a chemist and uh, he just made a speech which was valid and solid or accurate or reliable source of information okay let me show you some recently added posts on my instagram please follow me on instagram and i every day i just uh, upload at least one fresh post and um, i guarantee that you will uh, love them just follow me on lelb underline society uh, on instagram and there are already 700 uh, approximately 700 posts for example this one actually is a topic card on IELTS this is vapor this is blend these are flashcards expensive and the device and some negotiations bow minimum and so on and this is actually the most recent uh, let's say negotiation between one of my students and me and you can listen to them uh, to this and the other ones you know an IELTS interview and just follow me or like my uh, Facebook fan page to receive uh, notifications and please if you plan to improve your English I can help you make sure you can just uh, contact me here and the first session is free the first session is free so we can have a negotiation or consultation for example choosing your uh, course books and uh, evaluating your proficiency and so on and so forth thank you very much for your attention and take care